I just don't know how to say thank you to her. Right? Hmm? Right? I didn't know how to... I'm not even focused. Oh. <laughs> it's nice. Hey. Ta -da. Hi guys. I see how we're doing it. Guys. What? Family. Before we continue, you know, somebody may think I broke Habit's phone intentionally. You see that again, Sabbath? Here with a new phone. Let me show it. I'm not sure if you guys can see. It has cracked from the inside. It's dead. I didn't break it intentionally so that I can surprise him with a new phone. I was so mad. I was. I felt like the universe is angry at me or something. If you watched this vlog, you know why I'm saying that. I had so many emotions. I was very okay, but sometimes I would have some anger moments. Some anger moments. This was the worst ever in my whole entire life. I had never imagined myself doing this. I remember telling Habi I was possessed. So this is what happened. Uh, the day I broke Habi's phone, I, I hadn't been cooking for a while, so Habi didn't also feel like cooking that day. So he told me we are going out for dinner. I was tired. I, had, I was sewing the whole day. I woke up in the morning that day, went to get materials, and then came back, started sewing in the evening. There were some little dirty dishes. So in the evening, Habi was like, Babe, let's just go have dinner outside at a restaurant dress up you're going it was around seven i was tired you know when you're tired you don't want to be told anything you're just not there then imagine you have that anger moment that's not okay moment i was not completely healed i went i was like yeah sure that would be great i was excited for a minute went to we went to the bedroom we like dressed up we got ready we showered we got ready and I was like, I kept asking Habi, what are you wearing, what are you wearing? Because in my mind, I had something to wear with Alia. So we dressed up before Habi. I finished dressing Alia up. So I was like, babe, Adi Sai, you're not, you're not ready. You don't even know what you're going to wear. He was like, yeah, I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. He started, you know how guys are. This happens almost every day in the house. I don't know why that day I was, it was just not okay. To me so guys just remove clothes from hangers and leave them on the bed assuming they'll put the clothes will just go back to the wardrobes themselves so um have been removed almost every t-shirt he has from the hangers put them on the bed the bed looks like a pile of clothes so i i was now that started pissing me off i was like Babe, can you do, as in can you see you know you definitely know you have a uh, a grey shirt, a this shirt. So he was like, he kept asking me, uh, I told him a white shirt because we were wearing something whitish so that we can, like, we don't color clash as much. He was like, then I tell him, Vava, sit over to talk. And then he would be like, mm -mm, I look funny. You no, know, this looks funny. I look weird when you wear this and you guys are wearing that. So I was like, I keep telling you to wear the white shirt. So he, he was getting to my nose. And you know, when you're in that situation, you just feel mad. We took about 30 minutes, him trying to be debate about that. So I was like, you know what, let it slide. I'm tired anyway, I need to do dishes, I need to eat, I need to sleep. I need to have so much time to rest, a lot of time to rest, because that's what the doc had said that time. So um, I left him in the bedroom. I undressed earlier, I undressed, I was mad. I wore a Dera Nikenda bedroom, Nikenda kitchen. I went to the kitchen. When I got to the kitchen, I started doing dishes. He was like, um, he waited for a while. They were like, Babu, I was like, yeah, I'm serious. I'm really serious. You're not going to argue about this. We won't go out. Always believe this, this belief. If you argue about going out, like you're traveling and you're arguing about it, on a bad luck so like we can't go even though you have decided and you're dressed up we can't go we had an argument about that so i stayed in the kitchen doing dishes he took his phone he came to this he didn't change he just he was just ready hoping that i would change his mind he was in a really good mood i don't know now that's when the devil came in <laughs> so I, I left the kitchen went straight to the bedroom i didn't even say i went, went straight to the bedroom i found the clothes there See, when I came to this gym, we were like, babe, seriously. We were like, seriously, what? 
I say arguing with somebody who's not even telling me a word back, who's not even understanding what I'm even talking about. I was like, every time you have to take off your clothes and put them on the bed, then you're coming to the sitting room to use your phone. Blah, blah, blah. That day I was just extremely angry. I really had to take out. If I think if I stayed with that anger, it would have... Ta -da. I felt like the universe is against me. And then this happens. So I feel like he's adding more work on top of another work and I'm already tired. He was seated over there. I went and like on top of him then I started snatching the phone away from him. Obviously he's stronger than I am so I was unable to do it. So he just pushed it on this side. I was like, let me go, let me go do it. I took the phone, I threw it over there on the carpet. In my head, it had landed on the carpet. But I didn't know I had used so much force i threw it it hit the wall and i think even in his head he was like uh maybe it has just hit the carpet uh, after i threw it, that's when i like came back to my sense i snapped back i was like what the hell have i done he woke he stood up immediately went to the bedroom to clear up he stood up immediately went to the bedroom to clear up he didn't even say well he went laughing actually i tried switching it on but only uh, the area where it shows the battery percentage was the only place that was still alive so i saw a green light there like, shit i have broke the phone from inside it's black like it has really cracked so badly that's bad i panicked you guys i have never panicked my whole entire life like that because that was the first time i did something that when i wasn't myself like that was the first time i did something that was not even intentional something that i had not even thought about it like the worst thing ever. I panicked. So I went to the bedroom to apologize. He was already cleaning up everything. I was like, Rev, I'm sorry. I broke your phone. Hi, Waki at all. When I was like, can you come in and take a look at it and see if there's something you can do? They were like, what do you expect? You threw it on the floor. What do you expect? I was like, I don't even need a phone. So, well, I'm good. Just go do your dishes. I'm doing the clothes. When you're done with the dishes, I'll come cook, we eat, you continue their life as normal. I felt like that was in genuine. Like that was just brushing off. So I was I, I tried to put myself like I'm still mad, I'm still mad at you, like put the clothes on the bed and he didn't do anything about it. Habi was very fine. He when I finished he went and cooked, came and put Netflix, we watched, he was so excited, he was like happy and I'm pretty sure he wasn't happy happy. He was like still mad that his phone is broke. This this phone is four years old. He treasures it so so much because when this phone came out he was among the first people to, to buy it. And he says um this phone was the best Samsung phone some phone Samsung ever produced because it had a flashlight or a front flash or I don't even know, he just says it was the best. Words can ever say how sorry I am. It's been two weeks, so I'm doing this intro right now because I ordered I ordered a phone yesterday online. The phone is supposed to be delivered today. I'm also supposed to go out today to get some materials and my auntie is supposed to, this is a really 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 nice coincidence because my makeup by Linda is supposed to deliver a week to me and I told him yesterday that makeup by Linda will be delivering a week today so if I get a call from a delivery guy it will be makeup by Linda so I I also texted makeup by Linda so that I'll tell them when to deliver it yeah I told I told my auntie to carry the wig home and I'll let her know when she should send it. So um, when the package arrives, I'll be like, I'm going to get the wig, but then I'll come back with the phone. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I want milk. But what are you saying? No, she can be itch. I know. By the guys, it's a fake cry. We're watching news. We're watching news. 
yeah. we are used to watching YouTube on the TV or Netflix, but now we have to watch locals. Ale is asleep, I'm supposed to change her. And my cousin is here, he came to drop off my order. Two hours later. Ale just popped, so we're changing her diaper and going to bed. Hi, you two. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Stupid. We're watching cartoons just as the normal days at home. But we ain't at home. We're in a classic hotel. Ha home away from home. Yeah, home away from home. But it's, but it's in town, the best part about this hotel. Okay. So, how are you doing? I'm just good. Can't you see? I'm good. <laughs> So finally, I get to give you what my cousin brought. What's your cousin? Brought? The whole time he has, I lied to him that it's my stuff. Okay. So, so. My stuff here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I broke your phone and you have literally been rubbing it in every time. Even though you say you don't need a new phone. <laughs> Even though you've been saying you don't need a phone, you're okay. You've just been reminding me like every day you have to tell me. Mm, we're really sorry guys. It's a bit dark. It's um... What time is it? It's 10.55. You can say oh. that. It's 10.55. I've already unboxed it. And I'm not even focused. It's <laughs> nice. I'm the worst not? vlogger. You guys, you have to excuse me. I'm not so jealous. It's not like I'm just saying. It's not like I'm just saying. Oh, my mm. God, that's a young girl. It's smooth. Whoa. And that. Hmm. It's empty. Makes up for the young girl, Sasa. Dream for Nyak. Mm. You have to. I mean, I, I don't know. I will. Dev I wanted to open it, and mm -hmm. it was supposed to be delivered today earlier. Samsung setup wizard. My God. It was supposed to be delivered earlier, early in the morning, when I wasn't at home. So, the oh, she wants the lens to face her. Insert SIM card to access network services. Check out some info to get started. I was telling you, you are over excited. It's nice. <laughs> I just don't know how to say thank you to her. Right? Hmm? Right? I didn't know how to say sorry to you. <laughs> Are you trying to do the I can't stop kissing you challenge? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ah, 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 
Should I hold my hair like this? Oh, like this. <laughs> I don't know. And the kids watching are alone. Mm -hmm. And kids have closed their school. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm fine. I'm going to take it.